Are you ready? Are you ready? I used to take myself out on dates. Open my own damn doors, pay for everything on my plate. Hi my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing amazingly well. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about my most worn perfume of this month. But before I start this video, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Kindly give this video a thumbs up and let me know what your scent of the day is. So my scent of the day is Young Pistachio Gelato 33. Now this perfume was not love at first sniff for me, but it was definitely love at second sniff. Honestly, this perfume actually grew on me this has notes of pistachio gelato hazelnut sweet rum whipped cream marshmallow and cotton candy now i don't get every single one of those notes but what i do get is a very light um pistachio cotton candy type of creamy perfume it is a perfect gourmand for spring and summer but i definitely want to try this one out during the autumn months i'm just wondering how it would perform but the longevity on this perfume is not incredible but like i said it grew on me and i absolutely love the scent profile my husband adores this on me that's why he got me this um particular bottle i actually bought myself a 10 mil which is finished now so he loves this on me and even though i don't smell this on myself when i wear it people seem to smell it on me and i've gotten compliments on this perfume so that is kayali's young pistachio gelato 33 so this particular month, I can't lie, I've gone out quite a bit, going to work, um, hanging out with my husband, going on date nights and date days. And the thing about it is that I seem to be reaching for the same perfumes for the last few months, I would say. I, like, I have a lot of perfumes, but sometimes I'm just so tunnel vision when it comes to some of my perfumes and I've been reaching for the same ones. <laughs> I'm just obsessed with these perfumes and they have been getting me compliments i kid you not guys people are calling me names like queen and beautiful queen and princess and all of these different names okay so now let's dive into the perfumes that i've been wearing a lot of to be quite honest with you guys i have been reaching for the same perfumes for the past few months there are certain perfumes that are picky here and there but i've just been tunnel visioned when it comes to all these perfumes and i'm loving them a lot at the moment the first one is oriana by performs the mali this is citrus this is slightly gourmand this is sweet this is whipped cream marshmallow orange blossom absolutely perfect for all year round in my opinion i love it the longevity is not incredible but this normally lasts me for about I'll say five hours at the very most, but I always carry a decan with me, especially when I wear this to work. Don't ask me why I'm wearing this to work, but I just literally reach for what I'm feeling for in that morning when I'm going to work. Or I'm looking at my outfit, I'm just thinking what perfume goes with this outfit and i reach for this at least twice a week no word of a lie guys i absolutely love it so much it's flirty it's feminine it's beautiful so that is oriana by perform zamali so before i move on to the next perfume i just have to share this blusher with you guys and i really talk about makeup on my channel just because i'm not the biggest makeup kind of person i keep it very simple very light i like to look like me i don't contour i don't chisel none of that i keep my face as beautiful as god has made it and i just enhance one or two things when i say enhance i just use mascara i don't even use fake lashes guys because i like to see where i'm going and i and my eyes are tiny and i can't have even though you can get like you know those natural strip um lashes that are not as thick even when i wear it i still can't see through my so i just don't bother to be honest um but yeah i wanted to share this with you this i found this on tiktok guys i am tiktok obsessed i am always on this damn app <laughs> i'm always buying things on this app if you guys want to see uh tiktok viral products that i've added to my collection not perfumes because i'm quite happy like i told you guys i'm very happy with my collection at the moment if i see i've bought certain perfumes which i'm going to share in an upcoming haul but for now i'm really loving my perfumes but i've been getting other things that have just been amazing but anyway this blusher is by a brand called eloise and oh, this is a black owned business and i'm so so proud of this woman and how she's grown her company i have several products from her um from her website and she's also well, she's on tiktok 
and this is the blusher now this is like a rose obviously it's like a rose blusher you guys would probably think is this pigmented and i kid you not this is pigmented check that out and i all i just use a little bit on my face a little goes a long way i highly recommend it for the simple girls like me that just want a little bit of a brightness a little bit of color on their skin this is amazing and this she's got like I think six or seven colors i think i will link it at tiktok shop or something i promise you there's no affiliation or nothing like that i am just completely in love with this brand and i think they're gonna be doing amazing things so that is the blusher by eloise and it's in the color moonstruck magenta so now let's move on to the rest of the perfume so we have pink me up by Atelier Des Ors. I cannot get enough of this bottle. This bottle is rich. This bottle is sexy. This bottle is beautiful. This to me is like a champagne and rose perfume. A little bit of sweetness. It's sparkling. It's bright. Now, my only complaint is that I wish it would last like a lot and I wish it would project more. It doesn't project like it would not fill up a room, but people will still smell you, but you've got to over spray this perfume i do love it i don't i don't even care if it lasts two hours because the scent profile is so unique and so so beautiful it's an expensive perfume and i feel like it's one of those expensive perfumes that are actually worth it this brand do one of the most beautiful packaging and for me packaging is a big deal like i want my perfume bottle to look a certain way because that's what will attract me to want to smell that perfume that's what we that's what will make me want to wear that perfume often. But Pink Me Up is a beautiful, feminine, sparkling, champagne -y perfume that I just feel like if you're going to get any luxurious perfume, definitely add this one to your list. I love it so much. So that is Pink Me Up by Atelier Des Oz. Next on my list is Skirt So by Mila Aris. Now this perfume, my husband hates it. I think it's a perfume that he hates the most out of all of the perfumes in my collection my daughter doesn't like it nobody likes it in this house so the only time i wear this perfume is when i'm going out alone this is such a compliment getting perfume i don't know what it is people stop me literally to ask me what i am wearing of course i have a lot of this is a oud rose um combo kind of scent with some sweetness but it's not like a stickily sweet perfume it's more like on the watery oudy side it's not powerful or strong like say oud satin mood by mfk they're very different even though the notes the note breakdown is quite similar this i feel is more wearable but is it gonna be something everyone would like absolutely not like people it's not everyone that's gonna appreciate this kind of perfume it gives me a middle eastern kind of oud it's a bit of a dry oud in my opinion the sweetness is definitely there the lasting power on this perfume this is like a nine hour plus um perfume it lasts and lasts you don't need to respray this you don't need to top it up it is absolutely beautiful in my opinion would i repurchase this when it's done probably not because i i go out with my husband a lot i go out with my family quite a lot and if i can't wear this perfume then i just wonder like when am i actually going to wear it it's not one i can wear to work because this is just gonna be too much for the office but it's one that i wear when i'm going to harrods when i'm going shopping when i'm going to sloan square when i'm going to selfridges when i'm going on like a date night date date with my friend it's the kind of perfume that i would wear and i say friend not friends because do you know what yeah guys i can't hang with too many people at the same time i don't know if it's you know after um, the pandemic my social i don't want to say anxiety because that's quite heavy but i feel like i can't really hang with a lot of people at the same time it gets a little bit overwhelming i prefer like a one-on-one -on -one relationship where i can just hang with the one person at a time i think a maximum amount of people i can hang with probably two people at a time but i don't know what it is but anyway if you guys have that issue as well let me know i feel like i certainly can't be alone in this but anyway skirt so by milaris is a beautiful sweet oud rose combination kind of perfume don't blend by it but it smells lovely to me 
the next perfume is vanilla royale sugar patchouli 64 now this is a beast mode this is a powerful intense in your face arrive before you do kind of perfume this is a vanilla golden rum creme brulee brown sugar royal oud sugar patchouli you are going to get patchouli in this perfume the patchouli is punchy the patchouli is like it doesn't leave this um, fragrance but for me patchouli is such a beautiful note i absolutely love uh, patchouli in all of my perfumes there's something about patchouli that just grounds a perfume it's quite a oody strong intensely rich vanilla scent but you don't get the vanilla until the very 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 dry down um but it's a very strong and beautiful perfume if you want the vanilla to come out layer this with any vanilla perfume or with vanilla 28 oh my gosh it works so well together i've also layered this with sweet diamond i've layered this with um elixir 11 is giving <laughs> patchouli 2.0 it was too much patchouli big mistake i shouldn't even have done that because i could not literally get it off my skin but if you want if you love patchouli layer this with the elixir 11 together you are going to smell very patchouli <laughs> but with a little bit of vanilla some rose it's a really strong um combination i don't recommend it lightly but if you're someone that you want you want a super loud perfume these two are amazing together but my favorite combination is vanilla 28 and sugared royal royal sugar patchouli 64 these names are long okay ali <laughs> these names are so long but um yeah i absolutely love it this is a repurchase for life for me i think it's amazing next on my list is jardins the misfa now this perfume is dates on steroids oh my god i absolutely love the note of dates perfumes that i have that have dates in them are all incredibly beautiful this is probably the most beautiful date vanilla um floral a little bit floral kind of perfume that i have in my collection it layers well with so many perfumes it is perfect on its own it lasts forever on the skin and on your clothes it just smells so beautiful it's definitely one that i've gotten so many compliments wearing this to work again why am i wearing fine fine sweet sweet perfumes to work like what is going on with me because when i think about work i always think to wear perfumes like um coco mademoiselle or chloe nomad i'm looking at very formal smelling kind of scent but i've just been reaching for the sweet and very inviting kind of perfumes and <laughs> trust and believe this has been inviting people i get compliments on this when i get in the lift going to work people walk into the lift and they say it smells really nice in the lift so i'm getting immense amount of compliments this perfume is gorgeous if you have dates uh dates what's the name of this body wash i use this shower gel all the time by lush if you shower with that i'll leave a picture here or there if you shower with that and you spray this guys come and thank me later if you want to intensify it a little bit use the nest oil madagascar vanilla use this and use that together oh my goodness gracious me you are gonna smell delightful delicious and very very beautiful so that is jardins the misfa so the next perfume that i wore the heck out of in the month of august is my absolutely blooming by miss dior now this one is one of the best rose and peony kind of perfume it's fruity it's got some raspberry it's got some pink pepper it's got some musk it is so delicious and flirty and fun and just modern and young i love the way this smells longevity is great everything about this perfume is perfect you don't have to overthink it it's an easy grab and go kind of scent it is perfect for work this is not too sweet this is not gonna call all the boys to the yard but it's definitely gonna call all the ladies to the yard the ladies love the way this smells i mostly get compliments from women when i wear this perfume it's not one that i layer because i feel like 
when you layer perfumes like this it just kind of takes away from me it's not every time like layering is a huge thing in fragrance community on instagram on tiktok but there's certain perfumes i feel like just leave them alone and this is definitely one of them so that is miss dior's absolutely blooming so the next perfume is countess dorothea by penhaligans check out this head guys i just love all these um heads by the portrait collection and i know you guys are gonna say where is the video where's the updated portrait collection guys it's coming i promise you it is coming finding the time to film finding the time to edit it's not even the filming that's the issue is the editing guys editing takes a very very long time because when i film my videos i constantly get interrupted my kids come in i lose my tra trail of thoughts I, I i just a lot happens when you're filming but when you now edit it just makes the process a little bit longer but anyway countess dorothea is such a unique perfume it has beeswax it's got white wine it's got ginger cinnamon vanilla bergamot it's such a complex perfume that is likable you know complex perfumes aren't always likable by everybody but this is definitely likable this is a compliment magnet this definitely fills up a room it's a very strong perfume i absolutely love it there's nothing to compare this to i can't even tell you that if you mix this with that you're gonna get this or there's a perfume that has similarity there's no similarity out there this perfume stands alone it's a one of one kind of scent and i absolutely love it so that is countess dorothea by penhaligans and last but not least is baccarat rouge 540 the x-ray don't ask me why i'm wearing this everywhere these days i just can't seem to get enough of it and this layers well with so many perfumes like if you have any perfume in your collection any layer it with baccarat rouge 540 extra this is baccarat rouge but with almond this is baccarat rouge but it's sweeter this is baccarat rouge but it's richer it's more elevated this is baccarat rouge 540 i will always have this in my collection i may not repurchase the original i may actually no i will i will always repurchase that perfume but the extra is a must have it's slightly more expensive not slightly it's a lot more expensive than the original but i find it to be a lot more likable in my opinion it doesn't do the, the disappearing act i just think it's stunning i've worn this to work again i need to ease up on all my heavy heaters that i'm wearing to work because when i spray my perfumes i over spray and i cannot afford for this to finish anytime soon because this is expensive and it's definitely worth the price in my opinion there isn't any perfume like baccarat rouge 540 yes there is so many dupes and so many copies and blah blah but anyway baccarat rouge 540 is absolutely amazing and i will always recommend it i love it so much i'm going to put it down in the month of september because i cannot afford for this <laughs> to go um so yeah that is baccarat rouge 540 the extra so my loves i'm going to break it down to my my absolute favorite three and i'm going to start with jardins the miss far i feel like this is such a beautiful perfume i believe i have a 10 percent discount code i think i do if i do it will be linked down below for you guys to use if you want to buy this perfume blind by worthy for sure i think it's beautiful this is a definite must have in my opinion pink me up by atelier des Ors. oh this is chef's kiss i love it and the last one will have to be countess dorothea like if this is available get your nose on it it's not blind by safe but if you trust my taste go ahead and blind by it i think it's absolutely beautiful so those are the perfumes i've been wearing a ton of in the month of august let me know what you guys have been loving let me know what you guys have been wearing comment it all down below thank you so much for watching please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and I cannot wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye.